Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In this channel, I do videos related to medicine, study inspiration and motivation entwined with Islam and bits of creativity as well. Ever since I was young, I have always enjoyed crafting and painting, be it by myself or even with my family. To bring in my admiration for the Book of Allah, the Quran and art, I thought why not start a new video series called Quran in Colors where I paint an art piece related to an ayah in the Holy Quran while reflecting on the ayah itself, inshallah. I pray this video series is a means of inspiration, growth and beneficial knowledge Firstly, to myself and you. You can grab yourself a paper, paintbrush, some paint, and paint along with me too if you would like to do so. For this video's painting, I chose to paint an art piece based on an analogy I listened to a while ago on Instagram by Sister Yasmin Mogahid, which is all about tawakkul, reliance and trust in Allah our Lord. In the Quran, there are numerous ayat mentioning this concept of putting our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For this painting, I chose one of my favorite ayat of the Quran personally, which is the third ayah of the 65th surah in the Quran, which is Surah Al-Talaq. The analogy that Sister Yasmin Mogahid mentioned in that short clip started off started off with her giving us a scenario now this is just a brief summary of what she actually mentioned she said imagine your mom asks you to come with her to go somewhere but she doesn't tell you where she just tells you get in the car and sit in the passenger seat and she is going to take you somewhere now do you question where your mother is going to take you Will you doubt her intentions or will you immediately get out of the car out of fear because obviously you don't know where she's taking you? Well, the obvious answer is no. She is your mother and hopefully you trust her. So you sit there patiently and you wait to see where she takes you. And you might even be excited that oh well it could be some jolly good surprise for you. Sister Yasmin mentions after this that our life in this dunya is like a journey to Allah. And when you think about it, the one behind the steering wheel of each and every one of our vehicle of life is Allah alone. Allah our Rabb, our Lord, the one who created you and I, the one who is Al Hayy, the Eternal. The one who is Al-Wadud, the most loving. The one who is the all-powerful and encompassing. And not to forget, he is Al-Wakil, the most trustworthy. When we think about our life in light of this analogy, hence the caravan concept for this painting, if you were wondering, Subhanallah, I think it really sheds light on the beauty and essence of tawakkul. It is no doubt comforting and reassuring to know deep within our heart that no matter where we might be in life, whatever the situation may be, whether it be hardship or even ease, that Allah is the one ultimately in control that he is the one driving my life and yours. Allah says in this ayah, and whoever puts all his trust in Allah, he will be enough for him. This ayah, honestly, it never fails to bring me inner calm and ease. It is an ever so powerful yet gentle and beautiful reminder to all of us that when we truly rely on Allah alone he will be sufficient and enough that he will get us through set right all of our affairs ones that we may not even be aware of and guide us to our final destination of paradise in the hereafter Amin. 
So may Allah make us of those who sincerely rely on Him alone in times of hardship and ease. Do continue painting with me. Yes, this video is quite a long one, but that's it for my reflection from my end. If you do have some of your own reflections that you would like to share, do comment in the comment section below and inshallah we can all grow and learn together.
I hope you enjoyed painting and reflecting with me. May Allah accept this from us and make it heavy on our scales on the Day of Judgment. And may Allah readily forgive our sins and shortcomings. Ameen. I would like to conclude this video with an excerpt from Sister Yasmin Mugahid's book, Reclaim Your Heart. Tawakkul is not an act of the limbs. It is an act of the heart. To reach tawakkul, one must hold on to hope, strive with the limbs, and let go with the heart. If you lasted till the end of the video, jazakumullah khairan. Until the next video, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.